So there's a sign for the flag man, one to go. We are going racing next time by. Lights of the car corner, pace car are out. Who's ready for feature time? We're going racing this time by Rockford Speedway. Let's do this, 2A bracket. And here they come, they're gonna pick up speed. Green flag over racing. Whoa, the 12 all the way on the hard inside. Whoa, Gash and Reed making contact into turn one. Coming out turn two, Reed's gonna pull away. Noah Mahomiak's gonna try to go around Gash as well. We're three wide into turn four. Gorowski, the middle of the sandwich now. As Potter and Frisch on the inside of him. Noah Mahomiak and Bobby Gash battling it off. Well, there's a lot of action going on. Ryan Lobalt, a high wing car on the side of Eddie Wolf. The 18 Ryan Johnson on the hard inside. Whoa, the 32X went sideways. Michael Gerke spins out. Yellow flags out. He's got some front end damage there and some smokes are flying. Michael Gerke makes his home out of Crown Point, Indiana. Normally used to race at Indiana Speedway in the Mid-Am Series. So they're gonna put the 67 of Ryan Lovald, the fast qualifier to the tail of the field for being the culprit of that. We'll see how Michael Gerke's going to do. All right, lights on the car corner, pace car. They're going to be entering the raw steel collision center restart zone. Here they come. Three flag and we're racing. And Brandon Reed's gonna try to pull away from everybody else. We got a cluster of cars behind Nick Pressler. There goes the rear end of Nick Pressler on the track. Everybody's gonna go ahead and go through the middle there as there's debris now as the 17 of Bill Service hits it. Wachowiak on the inside, trying to get around Craig Mertz, and he does. Lewis Ansel will be here, might try to go through the middle, whoa. Looks like Noah, Kyle Ansel will be here in the 187, and Noah Wachowiak can make contact there. Lewis Ansel will be here now third by himself. The 42 machine of Craig Mertz on the inside of Gash. He's trying to get around Gash. Here comes Cody Club behind Mertz. And it's now Mertz and Wachowiak for third. Club and Gash battling it out for fifth. Make that Bobby Frisch wants it on the action. He almost made it three wide. And the 88 of Jim Hansen hanging right there behind Gash. Here comes the 29, or 28 of Logan Maynard. He's on the inside of Hanson. Eddie Wolf went to the hard inside. Eddie Wolf got around Bobby Gash. So the 57 of Cody Potter taking it off the track. Brandon Reed, still your leader. And the 50th Brandon Reed breaks out. Your new leader is gonna be Kyle Anderson will be here in the 60 car, in the 166 car. So Brandon is out. And now the 42 of Craig Mertz, he breaks out. So it's Ansel will be here in first, Cody Club in second, Bobby Frisch in third. And we've got a big battle in the back. Oh no, a lot of smoke coming out of the back of the 32X of Nick Pressler and Bobby Gash gets into the back of him and there goes sideways, 12 car of Kyle Lindenmuth. Yellow flags out.
Wow. All right, lights of the car corner, pace car out. They're going to bring them around. They're going to be now entering the raw steel collision center restart zone. Here they come. Great flag and we're racing. All right, and Solo B here is going to get challenged by Cody Club right off the bat. Here comes Bobby Frisch. He was part of the action, too. He's looking to go right through the middle. He's going to tuck it behind Club now. The 28 of Maynard's on the move. Logan Maynard on the move. He's going to challenge Frisch for third. And Ansel will be here, try to grab first. He's leaped by about a half a car right now. And the 166 of Kyle Ansel will be here break. He raises his hand and says, yeah, I know, doggone it. So the 166 of Kyle Ansel will be here, breaks out. Your leader is, is Cody Club, and the 28 breaks out as well. The 28 of Logan Maynard breaks out. The 76 of Bobby Gash now breaks out. The Brook flies. Cody Club and Bobby Frisch battle it off. Bobby Frisch is your leader. Eddie Wolf one second. So Bobby Gash getting the black flag for breaking out. The 18 of Ryan Johnson trying to get around Nick Bressler in the 32X car. So the 76, Bobby Gash, knowing now he's got to go off the track. As the 18, Ryan Johnson there, got around him. And now Ryan Lovald has found his way up to the top four. As Frisch and Club are going to battle for the lead, and Wolf's right there. And they're all side by side for first through fourth place. Mark Ross Jr. in the 02 car trying to get away from Johnson. Borowski on the inside of Lindenmuth. Here goes the inside. Lovald looking to the inside again. He almost went three wide for the lead. Here we go, three wide for the lead. Ryan Lovald in that figure eight car that races that slinger. Wow, what an, what an interesting mix of cars to say the least for the lead. You've got asphalt, dirt, and figure eight cars battling for the lead. We're past the halfway point, Rockford Speedway. Eight, eight. Now the next victim of breaking out, Jim Hansen breaking out. He's going to get the black flag. That's the 88 of Jim Hansen. Here goes the 67 of Lowball. Will he make it three wide again? And he does. All right, Lowball down the inside of club again. Let's see if Lobald can get it done. He keeps running on that hard inside. He's right there. Here we go, three wide again for the lead. They come out of turn two and they pull away from Lobald. And now Eddie Wolf is right there to challenge Lobald. Lobald's gonna, here we go. Nick Pressler in the 32X finds himself in fifth. 
Mark Ross Jr. in sixth. Lovov on the hard inside again. He's like Evil Knievel on the inside. No way. That's Josh Lundy. Definitely a figure eight car. Oh, he's into the back of Cody Club now. Cody Club getting a little loose coming out of turn two. Club and Frisch battling it off as it continues. Wachowiak looked like he almost lost it coming out of turn two. Good driving by Wachowiak. As Club and Frisch go up the back stretch, they're second. Lobon looking to the inside again. And now they're starting to get near lap traffic. This could get very, very interesting. As the top six cars are right there. Here we go now, Bobby Frisch is your leader and with three wide for second. Now here comes the lap traffic. Eddie Wolf on the hard outside in the 93 car. Oh, the lap traffic, low ball goes there. We're four wide, four wide Rockford Speedway. And he's beating out cover. Low ball got stuck in traffic. Eddie Wolf's gonna take advantage of him. Nick Kressler on the outside of low ball. It's still Frisch and Club. What a race, Rockford Speedway. 10 laps to go. Make that nine laps to go this time by. Yellow flag is out. They've got debris on the track. Came out there, so let's see what happens. They're gonna pick up speed, and they come. Great flag, and we're racing. Low ball immediately goes to the hard inside. Here we go. Whoa, the 18 of Ryan Johnson a little high. Colton Goralski and the 12 of Kyle Linmuth making contact, and they're stuck. All right, they're gonna pick up speed. They're now by the Raw Steel Collision Center restart zone. Here they come, Greek flag and we're racing. Here comes Colton Goralski back at it. And the battle for the lead immediately going to work is Cody Club, Eddie Wolf, Nick Pressler, and Ryan Lobal all right there. Nine to go, Nick Pressler went sideways. Whoa, good driving Nick Pressler. Way to hang on to it. And he's gonna get right back in the mix. Lowball on the hard inside again. Eight to go, this will be seven this time by. As Lowball, Frisch, Club, and Wolf are right there. Mark Ross right behind him and Ryan Johnson right behind him. Low ball to get on the hard inside. Five to go, time by. And the 17 of Bill Service 
breaks out. So Bill Service will get the black flag. Who's gonna win this race? Three to go. Cody Club and Bobby Frisch battling it out. Here they come. Two to go this time by. All right, coming in at turn three and four. It's Frisch, it's Club, it's Lobo. White flag out. Oh, baby. Frisch had the edge going that time. Frisch just. And the 92 breaks out. 92 of Bobby Frisch breaks out low. Eddie Wolf hits the wall. Oh, right low. Our winner's going to be Cody Club. Cody Club is our winner. The 92 of Bobby Frisch ends up breaking out, meaning the 23 of Cody Club is your winner. finish and here comes Cody Club your winner there's no way in the world I could have predicted that one <laughs> that's for sure out of Cole silly out of Cole City, Illinois, a Grundy County regular driver running the street stock division. Platteville Coatings, one of the sponsors. Club Construction, custom built homes, 815 634 2544, Bill Speed Shop. Cyclone Graphics. He's getting out. He's got a big smile on his face. He just raced an amazing race. Make some noise. It's Cody Club. Cody, what a race you guys put on. Congratulations. I mean, I'm trying to call this race, and it's like, okay, it's Lowball, this club. It's Frisch, it's low. I mean, back and forth. You guys ran a great race, and then Frisch breaks out on the last lap. Who'd have thought that? What do you want to say about this race today? I knew it was a big game, and I knew that that 92 was my best friend because I knew if I was going to get in front of him, I was a sitting duck. So I just decided to ride and hopefully not break out. And here, have you ever won Bahama Brackets before? I have not. Oh, this has got to be an amazing time for you. Do you got anybody you want to thank? My mom, dad, my fiance, Kimberly, her parents, everybody, everybody on this car. This is a pretty cool year. Outstanding. Congratulations, Cody. One more time, Rockford Speedway. Make some noise for Cody Club. I can't believe it broke out. God darn it. I know. <laughs> yeah, that breakout rule, it can really break a lot of hearts. I mean, we had one race earlier today. There was like more cars. That